just killed it at the gym on this rainy day. Arms and a nice mile run. Now we're about to go into this bad boy and see what we can find at Thrift. Part one to dinner, Premier Protein. 30 grams of mother effing protein, mother trucker. So the protein shake's not the only thing I'm actually gonna eat. I'm gonna have, this is five ounces of chicken breast, about three to four ounces of broccoli, and I'll probably do maybe, I don't know, I'll do a serving or two of uh, dark red kidney beans. So overall, I'm gonna get about 50 grams of protein in this meal. If not, I'll find something else that get to that number. Oh, there it is. Gotta have some sriracha sauce with the food. Gotta spice things up, don't we, fam? I don't I hate that word. Also forgot, gotta mix my creatine in with my meal. So I'm gonna have two drinks. Protein drink filled with cookies and cream flavored and a great flavored creatine slurp. I already did half this morning. So I usually just kinda you know, I just eyeball it, I don't really measure it, but yeah, I just kinda, oop, got a little, got a little on my counter, but whatever, clean that up later with my tongue. <sighs> All gone. Now, I know what you're thinking. This guy, you know, he's, he's getting in shape, he, does all these different things, he thrips, he eats, all kinds of stuff. I even write, film videos. But I don't do my dishes. I hate doing dishes. I, I, I don't know anyone who does do dishes, but I'm that guy. The guy just lets it pile all the way up. Don't be that guy. Four thirty, baby. Time to grind. Got a lot of writing to get done. A lot of proofreading. Writes and rewrites, which is like a lot of people say it's the hardest part. I actually really enjoy it because I actually get more of my ideas from the second, you know, viewing of a script. So yeah, I'm just gonna get some coffee ready and get on to it. Just make sure before you drink that hot coffee that you uh, drink a nice tall glass of water. Get all those organs, everything all waking up. Ugh. I'm going to be peeing here pretty soon. Somebody. workout did some shoulders hit the punching bag rode the bike high intensity even ran a 624 mile so my goal is to get to five five minute mile and eventually i'm going to just spiral into a uh, a 5k my main my optimal goal is to hit 17 minutes but i feel like by the end of the year i'd like to do a 19 minute 17, you know, by the time I hit 30. That's my, my main goal. But uh, yeah, for, for dinner tonight, we're going to do some ground turkey with some squash. So get ready for this shit. Pardon my uh, dirty counter. Um, it's actually really not dirty. It's just stained. But 
Uh, for my ground turkey, since it's 93% uh, lean, you know, it's still got some fat into it. So I try to reserve my fats instead of putting uh, olive oil. I actually like to use um, calorie-free oil for my uh, garlic. And I always try to do an onion, chicken, steak, whether that's a green onion, red onion, or a white onion. You know, you gotta, you gotta spice it up in life, you know. So while we got that garlic and green onions cooking, we're gonna go ahead and measure our uh, ground turkey. I like doing my meats with ounces. Um, so it's 11.9. So it's probably about 11.5 once this bag is taken out. Um, I went ahead and did my squash last night. Uh, it's already cooked in the oven, so all I have to do is just, um, you know, convert it into noodleism, and then I'll just put it in with the uh, ground turkey once it's uh, good and cooked. So that's about 11.9, 12 ounces of uh, squash noodles. And that's a lot of noodles, but believe it or not, there's not a lot of calories in that. So while we got our ground turkey still cooking, I pulled some uh, some uh, basil and some thyme. I'm gonna mix that in with the ground turkey, give it a little bit more seasoning, give it that wild taste. And then we're gonna put our rice noodles in, and then we're gonna put in some cheese. So I went ahead and threw the squash in with the ground turkey. Uh, little key here, make sure your ground turkey's not pink. So you wanna make sure it's already you know cooked. Throw in your squash. Now, mind you, the squash was refrigerated, so I'm just kind of warming it up. And I got my cheese I'm about ready to dump. Now, if you notice here, this is the fat-free cheese. This is the key to making a healthy, clean meal. Um, you wanna get your fat-free. It's high in protein, nine grams. Two grams of carbs, zero fat. Now, remember, the fat we're getting from this meal is coming from the ground turkey, so you wanna minimize your secondary foods like your cheese, your butter, all that stuff. That's where people start gaining their weight. So, just a little tip. Ooh, there it is. And yeah, I'm gonna eat every bit of that. It's a lot of food right there. Yeah. Come at me, Gordon. Come at me. She gone, man. Look at that. I ate that whole thing. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. Nah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> with all that said and done, 23 grams of carbs, 24 grams of fat, and 75 grams of protein. Woo! That cheese and that ground turkey, uh, it makes all the difference. So, it's a good all well-rounded meal. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to, to wolf down. Um, you know, I mean, this is good for, I'd preferably do it after a workout. Um, you could do it pre, uh, you really gotta know what you're doing and time your, uh, your meal properly in order to, you know, get the food digested. And um, I, I, would, I wouldn't wait any longer than an hour and a half. Just so by the time you get into the gym, it's all in your bloodstream, it's digested, it's your, you got a good pump going, uh, but, at the same time, 23 grams of carbs really isn't a lot, but I don't know, guys. It was good. I definitely would try it, recommend it. Hardest part's definitely doing the squash. Um, you know, you gotta, uh, you gotta cut that mofo, and then you gotta put it in the oven, and make sure you put some olive oil in there and a little bit of salt. Then you gotta let it sit for a little bit, and then you gotta do the carvarosa, you know? So, you know. I know a lot of people out there, you like your uh, your Halloween, your fall, so, you know, it's kind of like carving a pumpkin, uh, but you get to eat the pumpkin, it's just squash. Anyways, guys, take care. Peace.